Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Tofosi Time. This is episode 132 of your favorite City Odd podcast. Uh, the podcast that is so good, we have to keep changing the time to keep our viewership uh, at, a, at a level that's respectable. Otherwise, we're going to take down, you know, every other major sporting show out there. So we have to spread the wealth around at 7 p.m. this week. Uh, I'm Frank. I'm here with Chris, Dan, and Pietro. Say hello, guys. Hi. 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 Um, we already have producer it's Don right. saying, "By the way, it's the, light. Frank, it's the right." <laughs> no, no light today. No light today for me. I'm depressed. It's, it's <laughs> I Actually, like I might. It. I should do that. I should go into like, can we get some? If we had a producer, can we get one of those like screens they give you on the witness protection program, kind of like Chris just did? That's what all the events this man should do. We should just go in dark and change our voice. Yeah. There's, there's nothing shining bright, all right? I'm not turning the light on. The only thing that's shining bright is my haircut right now. It looks amazing. <laughs> it does. Philippe yeah, did a fantastic it. job. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know, fellas. I don't know. So I think we kind of just – well, we didn't really decide, so let's decide right now. Um, since there's two weeks left in City A and everything's pretty much decided, except for maybe one relegation spot, maybe – um, I think we spend the entire show bashing Juventus because I have a lot to say. Okay, we can do that, but we should probably mention that Inter is in the finals of the Champions League, right? They yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> By the way, did I not say that was going to happen? Uh, listen, I've been saying it for months. <laughs> because 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 of our luck. And did I not – watch, I'm telling you, it's going to continue. They're going to beat – they're going to win in the final. Uh, Even though they are the far worse team – just to really stick it to you. I mean, they have very slim chances. Like, I don't even know the betting odds, but it can't be. But this is this year, if we I'll just want to make up. it about us, everything that's gone against Juventus would not be the final cherry on top to be Inter wins the Champions oh, League. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> I, I totally. I mean, yeah. I mean, so we'll get to see what sense of humor God has. And so, if he really wants to stick it to Juventus fans. So, hey, um, regulation. Man City's minus two fifty five. A draw is plus three ninety, and Inter is plus six hundred. I mean, that's heavy favorites. Well, they should be. Yeah, I want a better buck than the dollar just to win. Say so win six. Oh, ten dollars. You said sixty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like we said before, it's one game, so anything can happen in one game, you know. But. I'm still gonna be pulling for them. I don't even I am too. Oh, I'm not. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> if I pulled for them, they would lose seven nothing. So you, they have a better chance of me not pulling for them. I guess. So, <laughs> so, um, no, yeah. I so can't, I can't do it uh, with all the Inter fans. They're still celebrating the two championships they won when they pulled them away from us on the paper. They still count those. You want to? You want me to root for them? No. <laughs> I would have rooted for Milan. He's so butthurt, Jesus. I'm not butthurt. I just hate Inter. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm consistent there. I feel like we're tired. He's in pain right now, the way he's sitting. Yeah, we are. Mental anguish. This is what this <laughs> season has done. All right, so let's talk about what you guys really want to talk about because it's the thing most fresh in our mind, and, and we're all fans. Well, well, you got to start with the Sevilla, Sevilla game first. Yeah, so like, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. You know, knocked out of the Europa League because they can't beat Sevilla, right? Uh, 3-2 they lost, extra time. Or an aggregate, aggregate 3-2. Aggregate. Yeah, one uh, nothing. They scored first. They take the lead and then they give up a goal right away and then give up a goal in extra time. It, to me, look, I'm not surprised in a sense that, like, this is why you have to you have to be honest with what you see on the field, whether you get the result or you don't. Because we've been saying all year, Juventus has no game. The coach has given them no play. They lose. They can lose to anyone. And this why is just another doing, example. Why do was doing the final game? Everything. Why do was doing Kaza there? Tell me what was doing there. Kaza when? Yes, they lost the ball and they scored. Oh, yeah. he, wasn't yeah. front, he wasn't in front of the fans. Yeah, I mean, he had a mental error. It was why a terrible was doing there? His point is he shouldn't have been there in that position. That's the thing. They have no positions. If I mean, you remember before the game, Allegri said, hey, we're getting ready to play 120 minutes. Like, right yeah. there, the, the thought process was so stupid to begin with. So I didn't have any faith in them 
go, putting, you know, advancing, especially because Sevilla does really good in that tournament. Um, and they didn't deserve to go through. To I don't honest, understand. If you, if you guess it's a right to wing, or left to wing, why don't you put it there? Where it belong? Well, I don't know. Same thing can be said for Kostic, because same thing can be said for every player. Like he doesn't, he doesn't, he's, he, he, he sucks. A bit at the level, a full back. He, oh, he, doesn't, yeah. he doesn't play them to their strengths. He doesn't play them to their strengths. He, 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 when we talk about today's game, it's just another, it doesn't matter. There's constant examples of him picking the wrong people, putting them in the wrong spots, playing people when they're out of form, deciding big games to play people that have never played together, play them together. Like he, oh, everything he does is before, mentally. Before, before the game, Perino is supposed to start to, supposed to be the star. Then they are seeing Chesney. I mean, you, you want to make a fun of the fair? All the people that well, the I mean, was that the paper, or was that him saying it? First of all, Chesney was their best player. Chesney played amazing, too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, like, even if he was going to play Perrin, why, if, if Chesney's your number one goalie, why in the semifinal would you decide to go, let's play Perrin? Perrin, even though he's good, we like Perrin, but why would he play? It makes no sense. No, that shows me. If Perrin was going to play, that shows me you're not taking the game serious. Yeah, like, it, like it just <laughs> said your team, right? Like, if if it's not Cup Italia, it's not whatever, you're not rotating every other game. Well, like, and, so why and, why would he play? And now it sucks because with the 10 points, they're not, they're not making Champions League. They needed that. No, forget forget about that. They yeah, lost. Yes, right, they right, lost that, right, but they lost it today. Right oh, to yeah. know, right to know, who out of the seven plays for the conference league. Yeah, uh, honestly, uh, it is such a. I, I want to give up even that. Yeah, it's a disgrace of a season. Well, like so it. someone explain what happened um, because people might not know. No, literally, it just happened like five hours ago. Okay, so, so if for those of you guys didn't know, so of course. They, they shit the bed against Sevilla and they get knocked out. They do not go on to the final. So they can't get, use that path to go to the Champions League next year by winning the Europa League, right? So they're out. Okay, so that's great. So now, as we as we talked about last week, the 15-point reduction that they had gotten, penalty, was taken away a couple weeks ago with the knowledge that another penalization was coming. Uh, today, the penalization finally comes and they were docked 10 points, which again, we could talk about that too. How it's 15, getting... 15 minutes before the game. 15 minutes before the game, 10 <laughs> points, right? Conveniently. Okay. So now they're 10 points, dock 10 points, and they would basically be chasing Milan, right? No, chasing, chasing, but chasing Robbie at the line. Yeah, chasing, yeah, right? Point. With three yeah. games, with three games left to go because they haven't played this week's game yet. So 15 minutes before, they have to play Empoli. If they beat Empoli, they set up a game, the second to final game against Milan, where you can literally play on the field yeah. and you can decide it lets the better team go. Mm-hmm. Right? So they get the news 15 minutes before it's a 10 point deduction. And what do they do? They go into Empoli <laughs> and not tie, right? Not win in the 90th minute, not tie. They get blown out 4 1. Embarrassed. And this is a team, by the way, Empoli, that had already secured salvation. They're playing for nothing. They had nothing to play with. They have good players playing in the under 20 World Cup that aren't even on the roster. Yeah, they had nothing to play with. The only thing they had going for them was they were home and they were relaxed because they knew they already were saved. And Caputo. And Caputo. (laughs) And and they played with motivation. If you saw the end, they were embracing all of. uh, Themselves like they won the championship. Yeah, because they were celebrating that they were staying in City Hall in front of their fans. Because that was literally, by this Juventus, everybody anybody can beat the. Juventus. That was literally one of the biggest <laughs> wins in history of their team. Biggest wins. I, I love how Daddy has turned, and he is so mad right now. <laughs> because it's ridiculous. This is another example of you know what you need to tell that team. Okay, you have the ultimate motivation of Juventus. We had a tough week last week. We got knocked down in the semifinal. The league, everyone is against us. They just took away 10 points. Here's the beautiful part, guys. We have three games. It's in our hands. Go win today. Go show them who we are. And next week, we're going to we're gonna win the last two games. We're going to go to the Champions yeah, League anyway. Frankie, Instead, Frankie, you show up, and they all look Frankie, like they're like, Shh. Frank, with this situation, with uh, that make people that are in doubt to, go, to stay with you and take a rub you to the Maria, they they go down morale. They you know, they they they, they let let everything go. You understand? Well, 
They understand what I'm saying, what I don't like to hear, what I don't like to hear. First, the new, pre, the new in charge, Calvo, some kind of Calvo, he said, we're going to, I, we have a complete faith in Allegri. What? Is, what? Yeah. You kidding? He can go too. I, I, I give you a list who don't belong in there. You know, Vlaovic, I can give you the, a 10 one for this game. For the, the game we play, and for the little form he is in. But the rest, Al Sad, out. Even to give it, well, give it to someone one million in free, give out. So Listen, out let's, get, let's get into that for a second because I do want to talk about the game a little bit, right? Because no, the game, you have to correct everything. Get the yeah. way they talk. You know, correct now. Miret is not up to him to play. Juventus, especially Juventus. No, he's he he's, he's fallen big he's time this year. I, he he needs to go two years somewhere else and get back to. Yeah. He's never gonna be good enough to play for that team. No, he may he may not be good enough to play for Juventus, but he he was here with the, and he's I really shit. Now. He's gonna be I something decent. Yeah, so you can see this guy. But, he look like he's saying. Actually, think, Allegri manages to play him more consistently. The worse he plays. I think the, the worse one, he plays, the more games in a row he plays. Even if you go back to Sevilla, I just spoke bad about Alessandro, right? With Sevilla, you should have instead of instead instead of Miretti, you could you could have put Alessandro as for experience. No Miretti, the the, the land, the, you know, he looked like he dead. Listen, as much as Paredes hasn't done anything, you can't say he's worse than Miretti right now. But no, I think, we let, we let out. You don't belong in there. I think one positive that we did hear this week, and it's a little off topic, is that now Di Maria is probably going to be gone. Thank God. We hope. So that's what I was saying. I was going to make the point that Frank's saying that like he should have been hyping people up, and they should have been you know looking at it like a positive spin. You know, Instead, nice, everyone nice. is negative now. Di Maria out. You know, all these people don't want to resign. Right. Like you're saying nice. I will never quit, but all the players are turning on him. So like that's well, that's, that's why I think point. he's going to be gone. I think Allegri is going to be gone because listen, if you remember what Sari and Cont, all Cont was winning all of a sudden, and he got to the summer and he was gone. And we were like, what the hell? It was like, came out of nowhere. So I think when Juntali, whoever comes in here, looks at the team and they really look and they do an autopsy and say, okay, this coach, two years, didn't win any trophy, not even said, not even Coppa Italia. The, the first Failed. time since 1988, by the, the way. First time since 1988. Didn't qualify for the Champions League. We have no play. The Where team is no play? better now than we were two years ago. We haven't value made anyone's value go up. And, now, like, and now, you got us another year of Sanjo at six and a half million dollars. All, all this thing, let's analyze all this thing you say, Frank. All right, no game, so that means it, the coach does not start. No game, a lot of people they not perform the way they can. You know, Bremer, they say he was the best. He was the best defender for Juventus. But to Bremer, Bremer, we Juventus, you know what he learned to pass the ball lateral. And if I was a coach, was a coach, the first thing you say, oh, you have to improve that. You have to start to go up. You look up in front, no lateral. He does a lot of things to correct you. Miretti wouldn't see the field like that. He, he, the, 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 the shape is in. At all. Even the coach, what's his, what's his name? He starts good. He starts good, Milik. He starts to score in the beginning. Lately, it's not no, he's not since he got injured the last two months. And the six. most, the, believe it or not, we talk bad about the king, but the most informal right now is the king from the forward, the one that moved. I, I just, know, I, I tell you, I agree with you guys that I don't think anyone is enjoying playing for this guy right now. Mm -mm. And I think there's going to have to be some type of end of year where, let's say, June Lee comes in or somebody else. Doesn't he? He's gonna to have to have an end of the season interview with all the players, right? What yeah. went well? Yeah. Okay. Behind closed doors, you're gonna give a stick up for a leg. I don't think so, Frank. For the contract, they have Lasandra is gonna have another year with the event. That's a leg. Now they have went to pay back, and they say they're gonna renew Quadrado too. Yeah, no. again, Allegri wants that. Well, so he wants to bring back the oh, people. No, you're hearing wrong things. First of all, you were just well, saying. I had to hear wrong thing. They're you, going to renew. They should be less a salary, but still, they're going to have the same shit in there. Okay, he's going to have interviews with the players. 
Before that, he's going to have inter- interviews with the ownership saying, "I'm coming in. I'm picking my own coach." It has no. The players have well, no say in this. Here's where I here's where I think he would he should say that, but he may have some agreement. Look, come a year, we we owe this guy so much money. Evaluate him yourself for a year, then make a decision. So at least we don't have to pay him for no. one year and not two. He's not I hope he doesn't. Him. I hope he doesn't have that agreement. He's not right? coming. I hope this. that would show me some balls if he was like, no. I think he's in the driver's seat of these negotiations. He's I hope so. Settle for Frank, that. He cannot be, I hope so. He cannot be that. Even, even Junta Camovia, if he keep a lady and say, let's play with young people, right? But it's a lady that say they don't have no, no experience. Yeah, it's already no. It's David Noyes period. Does a matter of fact, the mistake he did, the what he got, the Maria Pogba. Yeah, come on. And Give and listen, everything he's done, there's no redeeming qualities. Like I, you think I like hating a guy I don't even know this much? Like <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know him personally. I don't want to hate him. He's just not. His time has passed. He's bringing the team deeper and deeper into this hole that's going to take us forever to dig out of. Every time you end up. You know, again, and this is, I don't care that we didn't have a sporting director. Whoever the hell the new board was should have came in and said, look, I don't give a fuck what you do this year. I don't think you're good, but you're here. If Sanjo hits that 37 game and we have to pay him six and a half million, I will personally kick your ass. Like someone should have told him, whatever you do, we are not locking ourselves into a contract with Sanjo. I don't have to be a sporting director. I don't have to have created Champions League winning teams. Make sure he was a rich to the yeah. What does it take to tell him that? What, they think that was overstepping too much? Because his technical genius, well, we're going to cut his legs out from under him if he can't play oh, Sandro? Okay, you know, cannot do without. To, to you Sandro. couldn't play Rugani He's this sad. year? He's Rugani's sad. better than Sandro this year. He could have played. We would, like, this is where you say you have no money and there's no progress forward, yet you keep stepping on your own and. Eh. And making it worse and worse because you're you're it's like self these are unforced errors that you're making yourself. And that's what's frustrating. It's well, like that's why, that's why I don't feel bad for them. They're a poor oh, I don't feel bad for organization. Them. Like, I feel bad for us. Us well, what I mean, it's, they're mid size we get up a set. They what don't give a fuck. Percent? They get paid. They don't. I don't even think they're my favorite team, so I don't <laughs> well, what, No, why did we get up a set for? Because to go see any team, any team that played better than us. Every hey, listen, time. Chris said something in a jo- as kind of partly joking, but it's kind of true, right? Juventus fans are Juventus fans. Why? Because they they like the D- the winning DNA of Juventus, right? That they they're the the most decorated team in Italy. They win the most. They have that history. If you're not going to win anything, and we're going to look for you for what you entertain us on the field, Juventus is the worst team in Serie A. I, I the least I enjoy the entire year. Yeah, but they didn't always used to be like that. They no, now I'm saying no, now. Wait, so why? We, we are led. We even when we even won the championship, we used to the criticize. Player, yeah, all player. I know is I have not enjoyed watching this team. Me in either. Probably five years. This is the first year I remember where Juventus game was on. I was like, I was almost more like an inconvenience that I had to watch in the middle of the day than wanting to see it in my life. Because what am Frank, I? What was I looking for? Frank. The game was on. I went out for a run. I refused to watch. <laughs> you did better. I was working, so I had it on in the background. I, I couldn't go anywhere. I, you see, I, I say one thing. But this guy, they, they, they're blind. They, they don't see. Take Italiano. He saw Vlaovic. Because now they question if Vlaovic is a good player or not. Yeah. Hey, they're Cabral. Cabral scored with Italiano. Yeah. Listen, yeah, this, goes, the same. this goes back since the beginning of time. You can have Trezeguet, you can have Vienna, you can have Mbappe, whatever you want. If the, if you have no play and you don't create chances, they can't score. So Vlavic is off form and he was hurt this year, fine. But even with that, our play sucks. Did Milik score a bunch of goals? We yeah, went yeah, like 10, 15 games and our forwards don't score. Doesn't matter what they say. What they say, the old guy that crossed the ball is a costage. And he, he sucks passed. at it, by the he way. Passed. So he's why not don't you good put at someone it? on the right side to cross the two? Oh, I, I'm off the costage bandwagon. He's not good at it. Me too. I would never was on it. Dom in chat says, guys, it will be fine. Uncle Arthur is coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's some. Oh, we forgot to give the highlight of this week. Okay. So we also got some important transfer news. If everything we've told you in the house of Juventus isn't bad enough, we got news. Arthur is coming back. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. 
We got uh, news. He's coming back. He's not going to be on He's this coming week. back. They won't be able to sell him, whatever they have to cut him, whatever it is. Who else did we get news of? There was another great one coming back. McKenny's coming back. No, no. McKenny, I wasn't crying about too much, but it wasn't somebody else. Too. Kulisewski might be coming Kulisewski back. Kulisewski might be coming back. And there was one other, I thought. Um, Ramsey, I think, right? Uh, <laughs> that's another, that's another one. Thank you. you uh, well, I, I'll take Zachary. Yeah, I, I would take if I was cool. The reason he's not on the team is who? I would have the they reason signed he, them. They transferred him. They transferred him. And then Allegri never bought in and go, no, you're not good enough to play over Arthur. So I send him away, wherever the it, fuck he played. God over. forbid you want someone who can beat you up and run. Forget to, you have to, we are the type. We sell the best midfield the, the last four years we have. Uh, Emma Khan. Yeah, Chai, that was Sari's fault. Him. That was Sari's fault. But Zachary, if you don't forget, even the games we had him, what was the criticism of Allegri? The, him playing people out of position is not a new thing. For for Zachariah, he tried to make him a scoring yeah. mezzo. Yeah. Uh, well, he did score his first game. Yeah, but, he did. But he, he he took him out of the game and put him on the side, but, and you didn't get the most out of him. Also, this is a guy who can literally play stopper, that you're playing yeah. an attacking midfielder. Like it, Exactly. So my point is, like, this he has history, a, he has a charisma. It's a dream. Time. Yeah, he this, for the ball. Actually, the best thing that can happen to Juventus is that maybe we get Zakaria back next year because we have no money. Maybe a new coach go. I could use this guy if we had Spalletti. Zakaria would be like in Giza. Yeah, hundred percent. Write it down right now. If Zakaria yeah, comes I back, did. we had Spalletti. I they're did. gonna be like, where did we get this guy yeah. from? Yeah, we got him for five million bucks and we sent him away because Allegri is a fucking turd. Yeah. I can't well, stand this man. So that's the uh, other rumors that Spalletti's not gonna. He's gonna go away from Napoli. So uh, I think that I don't believe Spalletti. I think he's mad that what's his name just took the option and didn't give him a new contract. And he's trying to say, listen, I just won you your first your first city off since the eighties. If you don't want to give me a new contract, I'll leave. No, no, Frank. The situation is this. The situation is this. I think the lower end is he's going to sell a three player. The best one. Yeah. Okay. And then I wanted to still like the idea. And he maybe said, him going juntally if he leaves, there's not someone else who's got his confidence in building it again, right? I don't know. Well, well so I like you know, the idea. The rumors I that I hear for I'm a champion. I, I have to defend the championship. I cannot do nothing if you sell me the best player. Whatever. Yeah, but that sounds like almost a little bit like Conte, right? Like you, like don't wave the white flag if I sell you three best yeah, players. Friend, figure it out. Conte, Conte left. <laughs> Conte left yeah. with Inter. He did. But Frank, he did it too. Do you know the names being uh, rumored for Spalletti's replacement in Napoli? Who, De Zerbi? Gasparini is one of the rumors. For me, why the <laughs> hell would Juventus not go after him? Well, exactly. Like, well, <laughs> if I, was, I, was, I, I, actually, I actually would take – only because Gasparini probably only has two, three, four years left of coaching. He's 60-something. But I would take Gasparini. I think the Zerbi continuing on his path will eventually coach bigger teams. He's, He's young. not worried about that. Um, Spalletti's okay. But, like, again, I'd almost rather have Gasparini. Like I I'm would. just saying though, it's not like Napoli's gonna give up just because they lose Spalletti. Like they're gonna no. get no, they, they, they got Spalletti, Ancelotti a couple Spalletti of years. Ago, Spalletti you know? has to have the team. Gasparini, he can make a guy. He can make more out of like fly. chicken liver. You know what I mean? He can make more out of. Yeah, you you don't you don't think if we had Gasparini this year, more of our players would be on the upswing of having their best seasons? Of course. Like, that's the thing. Like, as a coach, what have you done? I what tell have you, you done? If we had the Gasparino, somebody like that, of course, he would have played, first of all, he would have played the level of the way I see Saka and the defense. Danilo and Breva, they should give me more than what they were good. Yeah. Well, there's certain people that would have yeah, a much good, better season. Give me more. Right? Much better season. First of all, Vlaovic would have, the way Gasparini's team, he would have 20 goals. He's our leading scorer now, by the way. You realize that? Even yeah. though he didn't play for how half the season, he he, he was hurt, and, and he still was the guy with the most goals. <laughs> that just shows you, like he had a horrible year, and yeah, no one okay. scores on our team. Frank, okay, okay, I tell you something. I just to say, lately, the last two month, two months, the best forward we have is a kid in form. Ugh. So why don't you never put him? I mean, you put him when you don't deserve to play. No, that's the thing. I don't that's understand. The way you like, think, yeah. think you see, you don't see what's going on. He doesn't. Because like I said, this goes in the same category of what I say. Moretti 
is playing his worst ever now and he plays more. Right? The same oh, as Hakeem. Don't... He's informed he doesn't play. Like, it's almost like he he sits there and goes, hmm, how am I going to mix it up today? Like, that's... Frank, I told you, if I was the coach, I, I, I'm pretty sure I learned today, and see Sandro play like that, I would have kicked him in the ass and said, get the fuck out of here, go back to Brazil, I said. And I got a lot of cursing this episode. <laughs> You know what? We, I wasn't he thinking can't because, a million. No. He can't because he has him for another year now, thanks to his own. Why? Well, well, give it to somebody. No one's gonna Why? We, have, we have to pay somebody now to take him to? Yeah, give it to somebody. Get, <laughs> get, 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 get rid of him. It's, we're, is, we're in a bad place right now. We're in a very, he very the goal. bad place. They did it for him. He lost the ball. Yeah. This is, um, I don't know. I don't know how long you guys want to talk about Juventus, but just. The entire night. That's which is fine, but I do want to shout out the U20 Italy team beating Brazil 3 2. They got some good players on that team. Yeah, yeah but Brazil's the not they good. Started, the way they started, they, were, they could have won the 69. They, they could have, but wait, they, Brazil they came up swept it. I know they're the South American champions and everything, but honestly, my biggest takeaway there, there was a couple people that were okay. Like, they looked decent. I wasn't overly excited. First of all, I, no, the first text was they look like 18, they look like high school kids. They're they really are. young. Like physically, even they don't look. They need to hit a gym. Like they're really young. Oh, oh, both the, teams, both the, teams. Yeah, no, Brazil, it's Brazil under is a point. <laughs> I know it's under twenty twenty, but you have nineteen year olds, eighteen year olds. They but, look like, like they were freshmen in high school. But there's some legit players on that team, man. Like, gonna be good. I hope. Listen, I hope they are. Yeah, so good. They, but they, I don't know. You know what? Uh, the media. You know what they say about the under twenty? Mm. You say, but. Let's hope they have a coach to make them play. Well, yeah, of course. Because this kid, he could be good, but if they never play. Yeah. Well, but... yeah, that's another good point. And, and I don't know how great they are, right? Because let's say, yes, they're young, but if you compare them to like Fajoli's, how old? 20? Uh, no, he's a little no, older. No, Fajoli's 22, I think. How yeah. old is Ravella? Ravella's 20. 21, I think. Yeah, really you know what I mean? Are they are they that – like, Ravella's better than them. He's playing City off for a few years. Listen, the the kid Cassidy or whatever from yeah. the, the guy they Chelsea sold. bought from Inter, yeah. he looks legit. Yeah, he's not that great. That guy. Nah, he I think look, he looks he, good. He also physically was bigger than the other guys yeah. and faster. <laughs> so that also, I think you, you know, know it helps. I like the I like from you, the goalie. They look good. The goalie looked like he actually was pretty, you know, decent. Was, Listen, uh, I, the, I left, you know what, you know? you know, what we learned from these these games that there's going to be kids that you probably never even heard of that aren't even on that team that end up being better than anyone on those teams. But that's why you no, got to play football, man. Because right? if you think yes. about, if you think about Bob Dancy, that played with uh, Empoli, yeah. We then put a play better than the. the, 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 the well, yeah, play. because it's maybe he's playing with better people. Yeah, and more. Yeah, maybe he's just so small, dude. There, some of them are so tiny, and I'm just like, holy crap. Yeah. Um, I just anyway. wanted to shout them out because that is a big win. Like, no, it's good that they want. Listen, hopefully they have a good tournament. I didn't yeah. even, you know, that was the only game I watched this, this weekend besides Juventus, by the way. And it was the one I enjoyed. Well, Juventus, you watch Juventus progressing. We have it too. I didn't. But if you, if you look at a good game, before a good game, you don't watch that. Well, you just said a mouthful right there, right? Since when all these Juventus fans actually have the same impression? We watch it because we have to. That's how I feel. Like, I'm not excited about anything. I'm not excited about a young kid. I'm not excited about how exciting no, they play. No, because that is no evaluation. Then nothing. No value. No. No, nothing. Nothing. And there's no future until they get new people in charge that changes the direction. And maybe Juntli will. But as long as you keep seeing, showing me guy in charge, Allegri, and Calva, who says, no, we're good, we're going to keep – and then you keep telling me you want to bring people like Di Maria back and Quadrado, you're basically telling me I have another year to look forward to the same thing? No, but you see, they should have this name, Quadrado, Alessandro, we're going to be the same. Same? What's Remy, the point? We're going to be Daniel, we're going to be the same. So what's the point? And, you know, I heard a uh, rumor that um, Chelsea – I don't know how true it is – I heard Chelsea is making an offer for Vlaovic of eighty million or whatever. Yeah, because right. they would have made it. They would have given it away. I think they would take take the offer. I don't know if it's a, the thing is fine. If you take, I'm not giving up on Vlaovic. I think he's still really good. No, now, with you, this with this coach, I give up. Well, with this coach, you might as well not even play it for. It doesn't matter. 
Because right. first of all, first of all, well, you don't need say, one. They don't get the ball. Yeah. Never mind the form he's in, but the expression. He look like he don't like to play. He never, he never win a, a contract. Yeah, no, son. that I have to say, he's yeah. not very, he's not with him. Yeah, no, like, I not. don't need to see Luperto beating him up. Oh my God, Luperto looked like Luperto. Uh, just, just, he put him up. He looked like Kellini. Like at one point, at one point, point he was behind Blavich, yeah. went around him, bumped him off the ball, and did, and did let it go off. I'm like, what yeah, the hell? Like so with, uh, glad I did not watch uh, this and, game. Uh, a trust in himself and the team. I don't know. Well, Vlaovic, don't forget, he always had that, like, I want to win, I want to score. Ever from the beginning, even when he came. Every game that goes by where he doesn't get opportunities or he puts that pressure on himself to score, he feels the weight of that. Like, even when things are going good, remember, he would yell at players, like, give me the ball. So, like, can you imagine two years playing in that scenario with Allegri after being injured, not scoring goals, not playing the Champions League. This guy came to Juventus thinking I, I I made the move of my career, and he's sitting there going, "What the fuck did I do? I should have stayed in Florence." <laughs> like seriously, I would have scored my twenty five goals and won a conference league. And won a conference league, and then I could have went like. So it's bad, and, and the and the point is fine. Let's say they get some money and they go, you know what? We're out of the Champions League. We're just gonna sell as much as we can. Okay, maybe with Juntali or somebody that knows what they're doing, maybe they get us some young players that build build a new uh, a new period of people that we can count on. Well, they, hey, Dad, let's do. I told you, report to report. I told you about uh, Brema Danilo with the lateral pass. Let's talk about the midfield. Whoever you put, did you ever see all three, all three of them play together? No, because they don't have One, a play. No, they all distance. They all have another. distance. They don't know how to move off the ball off each other. They don't know where each other is going to be. They this missed the time. They slow. This is why every team has the ball and presses us, whether you're Empoli or every other team. This is why. Uh, but, but that's a good attack. We have a coach that play full back. We have a Kiesa, he played. Kiesa doesn't play. I mean, literally doesn't play, if you think about it. You see how upset Kiesa was on the bench? At one point when they were losing 2 nothing, and they had the shot of him staring, and he was just like, he looks so pissed off. Because, he, because he's, uh, he's, he's like, what am I doing here? Oh, if if you ask all the player, how much, how many of them like Kalevi, I don't think you get to, to the ends. I think Rabia. You're starting to hear that now. Just a Rabio, did that say? Well, Rabio's oh. gone, so it doesn't really matter. Right? One, I mean, other, one other fallout from the point deduction was Juventus actually had somebody come to their defense today. Mourinho was asked after yeah. the game, what do, you, what do you feel about what happened to them? And he was like, this is unfair. They deserve – They had on the field, they had the points – and you got to take it away. And he actually came to the defense of Juventus. Well, he maybe said, he real. Oh, maybe he I thinks I'll be the coach of. I'll be the coach of Juventus one day. That's a bullshit of the league. That yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. Like, like, yeah to take, and it was so uh, convenient, right? It was like, oh, yeah, what, what's like just enough say, to hurt them? Like, like you said, there is going to be another princess, Princesso. Yeah, Princesso. Princesso. You know, bet Princesso in Italiano. It's a bedroom. There is another one still. Usually, I like poo-poo the idea that like they are screwing over Juventus, but like they are legit. Like yeah, going out of their no, way it's to too late. convenient, right? Yeah. It's like oh, you're eight points, we'll do a ten. Like yeah. it's just, and again, like what was even the point? Like why did they reject the fifteen to come back two weeks later and go but, okay ten? But Frank, it's, it's not even that. To do it ten minutes before the game, that couldn't wait until after the game. Like that you had. Yeah, to you know what's the worst part? You watch what practice is still Juventus. He is going to complain. He's going to go still uh, on court. I mean, when he finishes this shit. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Listen, and here's the thing, though. This is, again, on the coach. It happens 15 minutes before the game, right? You know what the most dangerous team in any sport is? The team that you can rally against the cause, right, all together and with motivation. And you have 15 minutes before the game. You pull everyone in, and you go, look, we just got the news. Here's the proof. They're doing everything they can to keep you guys from playing in the Champions yeah, League next year. It doesn't matter fact the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you went just to play good. Uh, Deserby would have done that. No, they, they played good it's the first good, 10 apparently. minutes. Once they gave up a goal, though, they looked shell-shocked. They looked like they didn't know what the hell was going on. 
Like they really didn't. And and, and my thing is you should have came and you should have beat Empoli three nothing. And you should have said, Go F yourself, we're gonna win it on the field. So I blame ninety five percent Allegri. And 5%, I blame the players who didn't show up. You know show where up. I was Do you thinking, deserve friend, to wear your rent shirt friend, or what? I was thinking. Even I, when I knew the, the 10 points, I said, all right, 59. We win with, uh, with what's his name? We're going to be a 62. Still, we are. I have the Atlanta and Roma. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You beat Milan next week. You told Milan that you're going to pass the Milan. That's too. right. So that's what I'm saying. So it, was in, it was in their <laughs> hands. It was in their hands. I don't care what you guys say. A 45-year-old, a team with a 45-year-old Buffon, a 44-year-old Kalini, right? These types, of, even fucking Bonucci, who I hate, and Marquiso, we do not lose this game today because people that actually gave a shit, I'm sorry. And, like, these guys, they've lost all hope, morale, whatever the hell it is, but they have no pride. <coughs> They have no pride to even overcome. If you're a player and you're in Juventus, you go forget Allegri. I don't care what he told us. You suck. Just we're just gonna run, we're gonna outrun and outplay the other team. We're gonna win today. And, and you know what else I like after when Allegri speak speak to Landucci the second. Yeah, that oh, is right. maybe it's worse than him. Exactly. Like what Wait. does that guy really add? Except what, go, did huh? what did he do? What did he do? This is tough. Uh, they're basically making out with each other. Yeah. Like, neither of them know what they're doing. No, neither of them. Like, the Linducci's not a guy going. I say, hey, what do we do? We just, you know. Yeah. Well, maybe they were deciding what to do for dinner. Maybe they were deciding what to do for dinner because he's definitely not giving them different opi- opinions that Allegri doesn't want to hear. Right? Like, so my point is, like, again, like, I this is where I think the DNA of Juventus, where you say it doesn't really matter. Like, Having those Kedlinis or those Buffons, like sometimes people ever just take people by the f- fucking neck on this field and go, "Look, this isn't acceptable." Like you need, like where were those people today? There's none. Who? Who, like, is where, who were they? Is That's a problem. <laughs> Bremer should have became that player and said he's gone backward. Gatti wants to be that player, but he's he's got no uh, pull on the team. He's too new. Yeah. Right. It's Danilo. Our do goalie do doesn't talk. Chesney doesn't talk. He's he's a good goalie, but he doesn't talk. Vlaovic is pissed off at himself and everyone, so I don't think like he's really like Lee. He just kind of yells. So who is it? And then, then going back to the beginning, they give up the ball for the Maria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that again was Allegri though, and Agnelli because they were like, oh, we don't need him. I mean, well, we don't these- need if he was a coach. Say, how do we need it? You know, listen, do you realize, I'll make you feel even better. Do you realize that Dabala played this year for the same amount of money we re-upped Sandro for next year? Ooh, less. Less. Do you realize that? Like, that's literally how bad our team is being run. Wait, I had a little smile on my face when he took Di Maria out in the Sevilla game. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Di Maria was was horrible in the Sevilla game. I know, but you could tell he was pissed. I had a smile on my face. (laughs) Yeah, it was pissed. How about you do something? Yeah. In fact, the one or two chances you had, you even screw that up. Dabala has, I think, 16 goals this season, by the way. I think that would lead Juventus. If, uh, yeah, because <laughs> Vlaovic is in first oh, and 14. All right, you can say Dabala, the last two months, he's been injured too. I did do what he had to do with the Roma. It's yeah. not the point. It's not the point. Yes, we know Dabala's biggest problem has always been able to not play the full games. But you realize how funny that is. We do not want to pay Dabala... Six million, but we'll give Sandro a six and a half million extension. Like, if if money was so tight, how do you let those things happen? If I was Elcon and I was paying attention, I'd be like, you know what? The new people I put in charge, you're fucking out for letting that happen. I'm gonna keep replacing people until I get competent people here. Like, because if you don't have competent people, you turn into a shitty team like Inter. All the years that they they were bad is because they had Champions a bad league final. <laughs> the finals. Yeah, that's. I mean, they got lucky this year. But no, they got lucky. Up. They oh. did. And then it was the good since Marotta went there. Yeah, before Marotta, when they had oh, who was the guy who, who they had the, they had the shit before Marotta. When they used to get the worst players ever, and you'd be like, "Wow, why do they buy these players?" That that was poor management. Yeah, yeah, they spent a lot of money on shit players. Your team is only as good as the people making the decisions. Like, especially yeah, when you're not the richest team. Opinion. Yeah. Remember, people that were like, oh, where'd he come from? Uh, Formula One. 
I'm like, well, that makes total sense. <laughs> Let's get the guy from fucking Formula One to run the biggest team in Italy. I, what could go possibly go wrong? Like, are you kidding? Like, hey, you think about it. You walk into a fucking room and Allegri's an asshole, and you're the guy from Formula One. Can you even push on Allegri and go, I think your tactics suck? He's going to go, no, oh, aren't you the race car guy? No, yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's so true. You know why? <laughs> hey, we go back to story. When you went to was a, a good team, that was a Moji. That knew more yeah. than the coach. Yep. The more you was to tell something to the coach. So, yep. you guys, you, know, just, you have to follow too. You guys, have to have. I'm going to throw this out there. I don't think I could do this podcast next year if Allegri's the coach. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I, I almost like Allegri. I don't, first of all, I'm praying to every saint that's out there that over the summer, Allegri and them, they decide, I don't care if you want to save face, if Allegri gets a deal somewhere else and goes, I think the best. Whatever way you want to do it, pay the man, let him go away because that's the point. Someone said something. Uh, we one of the guys, do, we get not play another year with the leg. No, yeah. one of the people on the uh board or whatever event is, they did say something smart. They said, you know, Juventus fans need to be enthusiastic about the team. It's true. Like with this guy, who's enthusiastic about the team? Nobody. You think we're the only four weirdos that feel this team way? Four, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> if you're not enthusiastic about the team, why am I going to come to the stadium and pay these prices? Why am I going to watch yeah, TV? Why am I going to buy these about, shirts? Who gives that, a that, shit? That thing about, the uh, yeah, exactly. Go to the field. When you go you to a game, it, it, you never see the football app. Yeah, yeah, but but price no, and that's new, that's new, though. Remember that when they opened the stadium, they had 10 straight years where it was sold out every game. Now people are seeing the product and they go, what the hell am I coming here for? First of all, we can't even depend on beating the small teams. A lot of times we lose. <laughs> so it's like, what am I going to come here to get aggro? No, because everybody can compete with us. Everybody yeah. can compete with us. And when you're the top guy on the top of the hill and you play this bad, not only that, you lose, but then everyone gets to make fun of you. It's not like you're a small team playing bad. It's like, oh, look at Juventus. They just lost Empoli. They lost to Salonitana. They lost Wait. to this one. So I, as you're talking, I went onto the Reddit of slash the subreddit Juve <laughs> uh-huh. just to see like what people are writing. I'm going to see if I can share my screen. Yes, please do. Uh, I got to figure that out. I don't know how to use this program. I'm sure it's just every post bashing Allegri. That's got. There's still some people, believe it or not, that are defending Allegri and say they should we should keep him. All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Can you see this? Yeah. So it says, yep. for anyone who's listening, it says breaking. It's like a headline. Management pulling up for an emergency meeting to the side of Allegri's face and it's fate and it's a bunch of clowns in a clown car. That's a pretty good one. Yep, I agree with that one. What else yeah. you got? Um, well, I have to go back. Hold on. I don't want to show anything inappropriate. Not that anyone's watching. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. This All just... right. Well, anyway, if you find any other ones. Yeah. I just wanted um, to see if I could find like fans bitching like us, you know? Of course. I mean, you know, and the thing is with Allegri, look, every time he goes, I'm committed to Chris, Juventus. If you, go, if you go to to, to YouTube, you know, all people that that uh, talk about Juventus, they talk like us. All yeah. people that reply, they talk about uh, Do they? Yeah, we don't do it just on purpose. Yeah. Because we don't like a leg. It's because it's sack. It just is what it is, right? Like this is just, and the point is, if you're the, the sports is the ultimate performance based job, right? It's all about winning and losing. What are your results? That's what it's about, professional sports. And when you have a guy that gets you no results, and oh by the way, we have the worst entertaining product. We're not talking about Zayman, where he used to score four goals and lose five four, and they came in the middle. We're talking about the worst. Freaking team to watch and no results. That's and sleeping. oh, by the way, sleep again. I see. You know what I say to myself, friend. You know what I think. You know they put the price up. I say every time I would have spent hundred dollars to go see the, this beep. I mean, people. People do it out of passion, right? That's why it's fanatics fans. This guy, look at this guy. It's another post. If you guys are watching, right? I give up. Allegri out. And the first couple lines are, I defended him for years. I hope there's more Allegri defenders that are finally coming along going, screw it. This is a lost cause. Because there's no redeeming no, no, factor no, no. for this guy. If you have the some, some dignity, Allegri, you should have said, 
It's not a mob. No, so that's where I disagree. Like, he's going to continue to basically say, I'm not quitting. If you want to fire me, pay me, and I'll leave. That's what he's Yeah, he's trying to say something. You know, so really, will they burn? What? How much does he make a year? Ten million? Eight million? Seven Ooh. million. Seven, seven to nine. Seven million. Cold, no, I because you see, it's uh, the nine, nine million is nine million is with a bonus. My bonus, he didn't get the nine him million. and Pug were the two highest, and they played a combined ninety minutes this season. But the bonus, nine million is with a bonus. Okay, great. My thing he didn't get no bonus because so they have to decide: can they? Well, are they going to write him a fifteen, sixteen million dollar check? To go away. No, no when you say this guy, you cannot complain. I get a seven million and a half. Look, it's Andre Dick six. Yeah, maybe that was, maybe he's a genius. And then he goes, you know what? A way for me to make my salary look better is if I bring back Sandro at six and a half million. They're going to be like, well, he's the coach of the whole team. I, um, a million more, that's a bargain. On our Twitch stream, I just updated our title to round 36 plus Champions League plus Juventus bashing. Mm, because it's that's a, like, that's all we've done. <laughs> well, you know what? It's I don't even think I don't even you think know, been, you know, is anything we're saying not fair or not true. You know what you say? Wake care. up, guys! Wake up, dirty gents! Dirty gents! With a lady, you're gonna suck forever. <laughs> I you know what? It's true. It's true. And, and you know the whole thing is like, I can't imagine being in charge of a team. And saying like, or CEO of any any company, and going, these are the results we're getting. These are the facts, and not making a change. Whether you're talking about a sale, a leader, a sales leader, a manufacturer, whoever's in charge. If these are your results by based on how you measure them, that guy at a high level does not keep his job. Yeah, but at the high level, the new guy Calvo, Calvo is supposed to. If you start like this. We're going to, you know, complete faith in your lady. We are on the wrong track. Yeah, exactly. Way. Who is Calvo? Where did he work? NASCAR? Where I, did don't he know. Do? I don't know. I don't know. But what they say it's something. The LPGA tour. tour. The Make LPGA novel. tour. Maybe golf. Ladies golf. I don't oh, know. Is he a Frisbee player? I don't know. Oh, this guy. <laughs> no, my, you know, this guy still, I don't understand. This guy say he talked to Juntel already. Mm-hmm. Now, if you talk to Juntel, did you hear what you two say? Is he willing to to work with you with Gallagher, a coach? He so if that? he's willing, don't take it, you. I agree. I actually agree. Like, if as much as we're betting on him, like if he, because if because if I was him, I would do what you guys are saying. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm leaving a team that's in the Champions League, right? If I'm going to come to you and rebuild your team, I need to have full power. That's and with I that, I'm picking my coach. I need to, to trust some coach, too. I, I would think if you want me that bad, I'm going to get the negotiation I want. Agreed. You know? Agreed. So. Every other sport would be the same exact way. And if he's willing to come and play nice for a year because of the money, then I hope they go find somebody else. You know what it reminds me of, Frank? Um, Phil Jackson with the Knicks. He raked them over the coals. Oh, he yes. Sk- he oh. said, oh, oh give me this, give me that, give me this. They paid oh. the millions, and he was garbage. But they, they had, they had this, remember, I don't you don't know the story, but Phil Jackson, who was the coach of the old Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan, he won all those championships. No, 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 no. Well, he was the coach. He won 10 champ. Like, he was a huge coach. The Knicks, who were a bad, bad team, they hired him to run the team, president of basketball operations. He didn't want to do it. He was, like, semi-retired. So he negotiated, negotiated. He got a six-year contract at ten million a year. He got this was so much crap. So much ridiculous. The guy was so bad at the job. He would be at scouting events and he'd be falling asleep. Like he didn't want to be there, but he had so much power in the negotiation. Luckily, they fired him two years in or whatever, and they paid him to go away. But that's and, what I'm saying. At least he had the balls to say he had the balls hey, to go. Can... If you want me to come, exactly. I want all this crap. Yeah. But right? to be fair, that situation, the Knicks is much worse than Juventus' situation right no. now. No. It's not. I mean, uh, it, right now, it is. Box. It is about the same. It is <laughs> about the same. This has just been shorter. You know how quick three years becomes thirty with bad management. It happens. I, I think about better that lady. Should we should have? Where's that guy? The actor. The, uh, the he was a politician. They put a sack. Who was? And the move. 
Paul Kinesin to put in soccer. Who's he he said he doesn't know nothing about soccer they put uh, in charge. Are you talking about Ted Lasso? Yeah, Ted Lasso. Yeah, I would have think. <laughs> I mean, seriously, at least Ted Lasso is going to join a team up and, and be a yeah, leadership motivated. guy. It'd be motivating. Smile. They'll play for him. I mean, these guys literally – you know what I see in the Juventus players' faces? I see guys that literally have a job. Like, they're going to work with no enthusiasm. They just have a job. Like, you pay me. I have to show up. I can't talk bad. But there's no enthusiasm. There's no, no, no belief. Okay, Greg, there's nothing. Greg, I don't believe that. I, I don't believe You know what? I don't believe that. Because even you were the Chesney, right? Chesney, what do you say with Sevilla? If I was the best, that means we suck. Yeah. If I was the best. Now it's starting to come out. Good. It is starting to come out. I really did like what he said. Yeah, now it's starting to come out with two games left. You know how many people that must talk bad about him? Yeah. Uh, Flowers is the first one. But that's what I'm saying. But for the, the last second. But the last half a year, I think those guys had the same feelings, but they were just showing up for work, right? Like they weren't going all yeah, over the internet. They cannot do without they, they going to right. give a penalty. If you right. Say, if you, no, I say I thank you. you know. Right, exactly. So they were, but that's way different than showing up with enthusiasm, with belief that we can go places, we can win things. We're a team. And that's another thing. Another thing is when you show up and believe in your coach. Yeah, you give it hundred percent. Exactly. Like, you know what they said? They, 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 they did the example with. Uh, I, I don't think he's a great Mourinho, right? But the difference between Roma and Juventus is. In the Roma, they have the same team with like Juventus, but just the people of Roma, the player from Roma, they listen and they believe in Mourinho. Yeah, they play for him. Yeah. They play for him. Yeah, we the Juventus, they don't play for him. All right. Well, that was fifty-two minutes of Juventus. Wait, what? Are you saying we're almost done? I mean, do you want to pick games for next week? Does it yes. matter? Yes. Well, next I mean, it week definitely what? still matters. Next week, I tell you next week. You went to Milan or Milan Juventus? What is? I don't even know. Chris will look it up. I have the schedule. Yeah. Do you want me to run through it? Yeah. I tell you, Juventus is going to play the first fifty minutes good. If the Milan <laughs> scored, they're going to get another four goal. All right. <laughs> so pay attention. Um, Friday, you have Sam for Sassuolo. Saturday, San Lorenzo versus Udinese. Spezia versus Torino. Fiorentina versus Rome. Inter versus Adelant. Sunday, you have Verona versus Empoli. Bologna versus Napoli. Uh, Monza versus Lech. Lots versus Cremonese. And then Juventus versus Milan. No Monday games. Really quickly, before you start going to the games, you mentioned Sosuolo, so I wanted to mention. Um, Sosuolo's owner said, Fratezzi, you better start learning English because he's getting an insane amount of offers yeah. from English clubs for him. So... Going, let him go. Who cares? I don't want him. I'm just saying. Like I, he's going England, England. I read that too. The best offers are coming from England. Well, the so best offers are always going to come from England. They have the most money. They're not compete with the 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 the. the yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't really want him on Juventus, so it's fine. No, I want Flatis. I wouldn't. I, I, I don't want. You, I don't want him with Allegri. I was a June to with give a good coach like the same or somebody. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, Rovella Frattesi uh, for John. No, yeah, agreed, okay. but a good coach. I, with Allegri, mind, I don't want him. But, with I, Allegri, I agree I don't with want him. You. but I think if you get Frattesi, someone like Rovella is going to be gone. So I'd rather just keep it. No, who? Rovella, Rovella, remember now, Rovella is the guy they uh, you went to try Locatelli and Paredes in that part. And Rovella is better than both of them. We I agree. worked on a whole episode without mentioning Rovella. <laughs> yeah, but we knew that we knew that last year and the year before. And yeah, still yeah but, but you say you know start, you know start to Rovella. And well, we don't know no shit about start. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to throw it out there, Chris. Go ahead, let's pick a game, Chris. And we'll... They um, all suck. Well, all right, Juventus Milan. Juventus is home. Three one Milan. Juventus, I tell you, Juventus is going to play the first ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Good. So what's your score? If the Milan the score four one for you, uh, four four minutes. You said Milan's home. You meant home. Yeah, four one. You say Milan four one. Yeah. I I said <laughs> Milan three one. Jesus Christ. No, so if he's picking Milan, four you know one, how far we fall. It's fallen so far. I love it. I love it. I'm um, saying two nothing, Milan. 
Six one Milan. <laughs> 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 Who cares? I can't win the, the the bet thing. I would at this point. I ten one Milan. Let's go ten one Milan. But right. maybe that will get a lady fire. Hey, you know what it is? They get a ten points. Fine. Besides the losing with the Empoli, Sunday that was Juventus Milan and Atalanta Inter, right? So he yeah. would have put a, he would have put everything he, in play. Yeah, mine has mine We're not because nothing. we didn't show up today. It's over. My my prediction has nothing to do with the uh, the ten points. It's it's the team has given up. That's yeah. where that's where my prediction is. The team has given up, so they're not going to win. Well, well, no, you know what? They they'll they may show up and win because what to, for not? But literally, Milan has to lose their last two games, and we have to win. We're five points behind. It's over. Oh, I have a news for you. Besides the get tired the all year, did you notice uh, Rabiot the last month is not the one that play like Barry? Because maybe he had, or you know, a lady not going to be the coach. I mean, Rabiot's always tomorrow. been so, he's never been someone that's played 40 games. I don't really care about Rabiot. He's not going to be on the team. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he's ready to go. All right. Yeah, but right to now, it's the best he's been field to wear. Okay. Yeah. That um, says enough right there. Inter versus Atalanta. Inter is home. Wait, let's do Inter versus Fiorentina in Italian Cup this Wednesday. Oh, uh, is that a game? Yeah, that's this Wednesday, right? No, Wednesday. Okay, Inter Fiorentina. No, one game. It's one game. Two one Fiorentina. I'm saying penalty shots. Three two Fiorentina. I said three two Inter because I want them to lose. <laughs> two two one Fiorentina. Okay. Inter. So, so now let's what's move, the move to Inter Adelant on Saturday. Inter one one draw. That's a mm, is it a big game? It's a big game for Adelant. It's a draw. They're, they're not going to do anything this game. No, it's a good game for Atalanta because you still have a chance. Yeah, they still have a chance to ch- to chase Milan down. I'm yeah. going to say two one Adelant. I'm going to say two nothing Adelant. You guys realize Inter's playing really, really well. I know they lost to Napoli, but they were had a red card. You know that's fine. I think they're going to be so focused on the Champions League that I did too. Okay. And the last game you want to pick? You want to pick um, Fiorentina Rome? Sure. Yeah. Fiorentina Rome. Well, well, uh, you know, I don't make easy Inter Fiorentina for the Coppa Italia. Right now, Fiorentina is better than Juventus. Yeah, of course. So, Everyone's better than Juventus. No, no, no. Can you give a What's the last game? Rome, Fiorentina, you said? Yeah, I'm going to say 2-1 Rome. I, 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 2-1 Rome. I don't know. If no, one not think of Fiorentina. I don't know that the ball is going to play. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. I, I'm only picking Rome because I I like like what we said. Like They fight for Mourinho. I think they're they're into it. Yeah, they're not very good though. <laughs> um, is up and down though. I'll say one one. Um, I you know what's funny? Uh, beginning of the year we said Monza, right? It could be uh, they're in eighth place. Yeah, we, me and Dan said surprise team. Mm-hmm. No, we were all we were kind of saying yeah. They're only seven points behind Juventus. Wow. So. Well, yeah. the, the deduction, yeah. Paladino, coach of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they start to talk to Paladino Juventus. Bullshit. Oh, God, you want to see him not be a Juventus fan anymore? Get him as the coach. Yeah, I agree. There's only so much people can take. I'll just watch every other sport. I don't yeah, really care. He doesn't deserve it. I'm way too busy in life to just sign up for these people. They There's repercussions, right? Like every year that you do this shitty type of year, yeah, you may have us already because we've been Juventus fans our whole lives. But every year you play like this, the next generation of young kids that pick their teams, they're not picking Juventus. You, they might pick Inter. They might pick any, Chelsea. They're not picking Juventus. You, you know what would piss me off with the Palladino? It, I don't want him as a coach, but like knowing Juventus is like this is a guy you don't even have to pay a lot of money, and they would still overpay to get this. Oh yeah, they'd be like seven million a year, a thirty-eight <laughs> year contract. Yeah, because he's got no. He's got yeah, that, that, that's that's the, that key. Juventus did because all the player Juventus got yeah, it's a right? status thing. They give a, they give a good salary. Yeah. They, they suck. They nobody else can. He doesn't deserve it. So like, but I can see them. 
giving them a ridiculous amount of money. Whoever they get to run this team, I would love to see whoever they start to get, like if they get younger players or people from smaller teams, I would love to start hearing like some <laughs> smaller contracts again. Like we got so-and-so for a million and a half a year. Like just because they yeah. come to Juventus, you don't have to give them four million. Like no, I'll, I'll, make- I'll, I'll put a I'll put a cap for salary. No more than four million. I don't even need a cap. I just want to see if a guy's making five hundred thousand on some small ass team and you get him, give him a million five. It's a big jump for him. Let him prove himself. His next contract, you can give him two and a half if he's good. Three yeah. million. <laughs> like instead of giving everyone six, four and a half million, and then you're stuck with them for life. Yeah, well, the problem, the problem, do we get to this people? Because these people, they have other offer, and they go to the better offer. Well, yeah, you, you can't. It's not, to... just them, it's not just themselves. It's the president from the team. They sell to where they make more money. Yeah, well, that's true. But that's if you try to go get Fratesi, people that are well-known. I think you may have to even go find people that are less known than that. Like, that's why we want someone who can actually find talent, right? Uh, you know, go get uh, players from other teams, other leagues, maybe that you get them for ten million. Listen, Zachariah is a perfect example. Like it was a bad, bad scenario. His contract was running up. They got him for five or six million, or they got him. There's other opportunities like that. You just have to pick the right people. Yeah, because so Napoli, Napoli did get to Agüisa. Yeah, uh, where did this guy? I don't think they must. I don't think you know. He probably well, makes he terrible in England. He played yeah. terrible. In he was bad. And how much does he make? What is what does he make? Half yeah. of what Sandro makes? Yeah, not a lot. La Boca is another good example, right? So, like again, we make our own problems. Like, like I don't know. On that note, because I tell you what is, Frank. He still wants to go. We need a director sportivo that know about soccer. Hundred percent, hundred percent. We need this director sportivo that is a good coach. Is it listed and on the we have to, to play on young team. people at best? That's it. Hey, if someone go over to 25 years old out or 26 out. Listen, and we've already seen this with Juventus. Moji, we were great. Then we went to Serie B and we had a couple years, remember, of Seco and who was the guy with Seco? We were, we were freaking horrible. They, got, they bought players that 25, 30 million yeah. dollars that suck, never played. Then we get Marotta, we start playing good again because the team starts being built the right way. Then he leaves, we get Paratici, who's an asshole, and the team starts to sink. Then we get the NASCAR guy, or I don't even know who the hell is – who was even in charge? I don't even Formula know. Formula One, get it right. They let Agnelli just do it, I, whatever the hell it was, but it was a joke. And now it, this decision to me is the most important decision because you get another Moji, you get another someone who's good, coaches are going to come and go. They'll be there for three years, four years. And then the guy will fire him. They'll bring somebody else in. That's good. But like the guy making the decision, if you don't, you don't even know if they're going to hire the right coach. They might hire a Paladino for four million because no, they read the paper. The, the, uh, the team, if you know what he's talking about, you know how to spend the money too. That that's the biggest thing they do, and you actually know what you're looking at. So so you can't get talked into hiring a Paladino or a Tiago Mota because they took two shits for a month, and now all of a sudden they're great. Right, you can go. Nah, maybe he's not the right person. Maybe that's not the right player. Maybe that person's overhyped, too pay, too too much, too expensive. Like we, we need someone who knows how to make decisions. All right, see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> Allegri out. An hour and five minutes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Get an extension. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>